Hi, how are you guys? I am here with my September wax and a couple body care empties. Um, it's not quite the end of September yet, but I wanted to go ahead and do this because my kids, it's like the 29th or 30th, I think, but my kids will be out of school, so it's close enough and I'm not gonna have time to do it, I know. And then I have a class that starts October 1st. Um, my kids have two weeks off for fall break. It was just gonna be a lot going on. Um, so just really busy the next couple of months. If you guys don't know, I am getting my master's degree in advanced nurse practice. Um, I'm going to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. I'm a nurse now. Um, so I have a year left, so I just get really busy sometimes. Sorry, I've had a cold too, so my voice is kind of crackly. Um, I just get really busy sometimes, especially like towards the end of each semester or I take one course at a time, but it's just like a lot to do towards the end of the course. So I just know it's going to be a busy couple of weeks coming up and I'm not going to have time. I'm going to go ahead and do it this empties um i think that's all i had to say i'm gonna get into it so i'm just gonna grab i don't have these in any specific order i'm sorry if you do like them in order of like um scents or vendor or you know like types of wax i'm just gonna grab them out of this bag that i've been keeping them in so um the first one i have here is night of shadows from that small good shop if you like patchouli if you're a patchouli lover, which I'm a patchouli lover, that small good shop has the best patchouli. You have to try it. And this is so good. This one is sweet apple cider and earthy patchouli. The sweetness of the apple and the earthiness of the patchouli really go well together. This is almost like an apple cider barrel scent to me. Like you get sweet apple cider, but then it's also very like dirty and herbal and earthy at the same time. Really, really great. Um, if you like earthy scents and you like apple scents, I highly recommend this one. I I think this might be the, I got like four of these because I tried it and I loved it so much that I had to get multiple of it. This might be the last one I have, but um, really, really, really good. I would order that again. I would, I need to do a custom from that small good shop. That's what I want to do. The next one I have here is lemon curd and rose milk. This was a clamshell from the bathing garden. My nails are like Halloween nails very cute they're just press ons from kiss if you go to kiss's website like and press kiss whatever if you're like a press on nail girl they have a ton of cute halloween designs right now but anyway lemon curd and rose milk this one was mostly like that bright sweet lemon curd i got a lot of lemon curd and it was like um what do you call it like a layered tart so it's like yellow on the bottom mostly lemon curd and then like pink on the top which was like the rose milk I love the bathing gardens rose milk scents. It's like a very, it's not super sweet, but it's like a very creamy, like a legit milk, like a milky rose, almost like a rose bath product. Mixed with that lemon curd. This is just really beautiful. This is from her Valentine's Day collection. I will continue to repurchase this probably till the end of time. One of my favorite like bedroom scents. I think it's really nice for just something different in the bedroom that's not too floral, but that's also not like pink sugar, lavender mint type of scent. Really good. Um, another one for the bathing garden here, I have this sample. I think it has a dog hair on it. And cinnamon dusted maple donut. This was really nice. It was just an apple cinnamon donut type of scent. Apple cinnamon bakery type of scent. Um, it was, I wouldn't say that it was necessarily something really special. Um, would I get it again? Probably if I saw it, because I do like to have this type of scent on hand. And if I was looking for that or fall was coming up, I would definitely get this again. Um, but it wasn't anything that was like super spectacular, if that makes sense. Um, this, I guess I should talk about throw. Night of Shadows, this one threw like a 10 out of 10. This one's probably more like an 8 out of 10. And then this one was like a 10 out of 10. Okay. This one from Rose Girls. This one is called Crawler Hunting. And this one is Dirt, Concrete, and Rain. I've had this. I don't know if she's offered this recently, but I've had this bag for like a year since last Halloween. And this really, really, really smells like dirt and wet concrete. It really does. It reminds me of... Um, this is gross. The name crawler hunting is perfect for it. But it reminds me of 
we would go run the track when we were like young and in school we had like this concrete track and it reminds me of like after it would rain and maybe it's just the name crawler hunting there'd be like worms all over the place like on like the sidewalks and stuff and it would be like dirt and like grass and the concrete would be wet and they would like take us outside to run that's what it reminds me of um but yeah it really does smell like dirt and concrete wet concrete do i need this again mm, i don't know it took me a whole year to melt it i did like it when it was raining um outside like in the evening i liked to kind of have this i think there are other like dirt scents that i like more than this one though so i don't think that would be a repurchase it wasn't bad but just probably not a repurchase um salt mountain melts villain era how cute is the packaging on this this is adorable um strawberry sandalwood smoke amber vanilla and palo santo this was like such a good september scent i get a lot of really fresh sweet strawberry and then i just get smoke and palo santo it's just a touch of smoke and i do get a lot of palo santo but this is just like a smoky woody strawberry type of scent really similar to strawberries and cedar from teddy bees if you've smelled that but it's like mainly strawberry. I don't get a whole lot of amber, but it's a very sweet strawberry with a really smoky Palo Santo. Um, this is phenomenal. It was like definitely a vibe. Um, loved it. I would order this again if she came back out with it. The one that I just recently got from her, it was a strawberry scent, Palmistry. Is that what it was called? It was like a strawberry smoky scent. Um, I much, much, much prefer this one. And this one had like eight out of 10 throw. Again, it was really nice. Okay, I'm just gonna start grabbing out of here. Oh, these two were the last things in my collection from Sassy Girl Aroma. So this first one was this like um, square block bag, I think is what she calls them, in Grand Aria. Um, this one was Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Tuberose, Vanilla, Amber, Soft Woods, and White Musk. This was very sweet. I think this is supposed to smell like, um, like the MGM Grand Hotel. This was part of like the Vegas Hotel collection that she did. Um, and I love Las Vegas. So this was the one that sounded like the best to me and the one I felt like I would be the most familiar with. The smell of, you know what I mean? Um, this is very sweet. It is good, but it, do, it doesn't smell like that hotel to me, if that's what it's supposed to be. It doesn't really smell like any hotel. I expected it to be um like more earthy and florally and bright and kind of spa like it's really not it's it smells sweet and sugary um and maybe that's like the vanilla and the amber but I don't get any soft woods jasmine lily of the valley out of this my son's had this smelled like white chocolate I don't think it's quite smells that sweet but it doesn't smell chocolatey to me or like chalky or white chocolatey but it does smell like sweet enough that I could see where he was coming from so um I don't know that like I, I liked it I just don't know that it would be a repurchase for me the next one I have from Sassy Girl Aroma is Pink Sleepy Time and this one is Pink Sugar Lavender Spearmint Chamomile again this was one of her block bags and this was really nice this, I've had this several times from her I like this I think it's a little bit different than other like pink bedtime blends, like pink lavender, mint, pink sugar, vanilla, pink sugar, lavender, mint, bedtime blends that I've had. I think the spearmint and the chamomile make this like very unique. It almost smells like a peppermint, like chamomile tea to me. But as you get a little bit of the pink sugar, um, it's like more herbally chamomile mint to me than like sweet, I guess. But this is really good. If I ordered from Sassy Girl Aroma again, I would look for this one. Um, it's really nice. This one was like a 10 out of 10 throw. That one's an older one. It's probably about 10 months old, a year old, something like that. Um, from Teddy Bees, I finished a loaf. This is Bonfire Nights. It was like purple. Her bags are so messy by the time I'm done with them. Um, I cut 
my loaves up like all at once instead of cutting a little bit off at a time because otherwise I know like I'm a lazy person and if I can't just like reach for it and put it in my warmers I'm not gonna warm it so I cut them all up at once and then they just kind of tend to get smushed anyway bonfire nights is bonfires cashmere vanilla sandalwood and roasted marshmallow sorry I need a drink um this is so good I love this she just offered this in her most recent pre-order and if i would have realized how much i liked it i probably would have gotten another loaf maybe in the red shop i don't know this is so good it's very much marshmallow and cashmere like it's like a super sweet like vanilla cashmere sweater type of scent which i love i love cashmere and then i get just a hint of smokiness that goes really nicely with it it really is a nice like transitioning into fall scent if you're like me and you don't like I feel like everybody loves like carnival scents like I don't I don't like that I really don't like caramel apple scents I really don't like um like popcorn scents funnel cake I'm not like a huge fan of <coughs> sorry um so I really tend to like more like wine scents like fruity um slash woody type of scents and since like this, I think this one was really perfect. It wasn't like a full on like bonfire, but it was like a really like sweet marshmallow cashmere, slightly smoky type of scent. And I loved it. It was super subtle too. I would say maybe through like a six or a seven, definitely enough that like you, I could smell it and it was like nice and warm and cozy, um, but not enough that like if somebody was melting this in your house, it was like a company scent. Like if somebody was walked into your house, they wouldn't be like, whoa, like that's an intense smell you know like they would just think oh wow this house smells like cozy and warm if that makes sense i don't know i like maybe it's just me being self-conscious but i feel like whenever i know i'm gonna have company over like i try to choose something to melt that's not gonna be like super like in your face like i don't know like oh, like <laughs> i don't want to seem like i'm trying too hard <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense but like i don't i don't want people to think like oh like one, I don't want them to be, like, bothered if they're sensitive to scent. Like, I definitely want something subtle, but I also don't want people to be like, wow, is her house, like, dirty or something? Is she overcompensating by melting really strong wax? I don't know. You could walk into my house and know that it's not dirty, but... I don't know. Does anybody feel like this? Do you feel like this? Um, Marie Antoinette's Boudoir. Boudoir? Boudoir. Was that close? Um, from the bathing garden. This is like a sample. I don't know what was in this. This is like a florally scent. Comes out again with her Valentine's Day collection. <laughs> this is this reminded me of like um like a cleaner almost or like a um carpet air fresher kind of. It wasn't bad. I melted it in the bathroom. I liked it. I probably wouldn't like purchase it, but I definitely would melt if I got another um sample of it. Carrot cake from um the bathing garden this one was on my purse that's why it's so like melted up um don't ask why it was in my purse but this is nice it's just a carrot I really like her carrot cake it's not super strong okay this is like a more subtle like company scent like it's like a really light airy spiced cake with like a cream cheese frosting and I definitely can smell the cream cheese frosting in this but um it's not sour at all I like I normally don't like love cream cheese frosting but I like that carrot cake scent and I like rose girls carrot cake scent um black sea barber from Hayden Row. this one is salty oceanic accords amber vanilla and our barber barber shop 1920 shaving cream I melted this one in the bathroom I remember because it was just like two days ago it is about this scent I don't necessarily love it it is it's nice like I don't not like it but I don't know if it's the amber there's something about it that's like <coughs> excuse me sorry sorry guys I keep coughing there's something about it that's like salty there's something about it that's like a salty sour I guess I don't know like there's just something about it that I'm not like a huge fan of um my daughter really liked that one she said a comment on how good it's fun and how much she likes it but I wasn't like super into it um from Teddy V's I have pink moon I love this scent this one is pink sugar sweet lavender the smell of rain crushed apple blossoms and bruised flowers 
I love Teddy B's like pink sugar and her lavender both I think she has like phenomenal oils whatever she uses good job keep using them <laughs> so good so I get pink sugar lavender first which amazing really nice um and then I get like a floral or I'm sorry then I get like a fruity note next which must be the apple blossom it's a nice fruity because I don't always like fruity and then I get some floral I mostly get I think the apple blossoms and the pink sugar and the lavender this is really good it's like such a feminine pretty scent but there's also something about it that like very much is like maybe it's the apple there's something about it that like makes it a really nice like fall transition scent for me um it's also nice in the spring too though. like I said I don't know if I said that or not actually I have another tub of that um because I love it a lot but now I have like one tub of it left. This is another favorite from Teddy Bees. This one is Limit Fairy Tales and Lemons. This one is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla, warm amber, sugared lemon zest, and a hint of Palo Santo. This is super heavy on the lemon. This is like, I don't know why I did that. This one is super heavy on the lemon. This is like bam, in your face lemon zest. But then I also get um some of that amber and vanilla and then palo santo as well so this is like a this is like a lemon curd like it's like a super bright zesty lemon with some vanilla and woodiness to it i said when i got this this is like fairy tales and lemons is like such a good name for it because it's like a very like cottage core like woody lemon scent and i still do think that it's really good um i have a whole loaf in this so I'm not super, well, I am super sad to see it go, but really great. I hope she brings this back again because it is, again, just like the Villanera one. This is another really nice, like, August, September type of scent to kind of transition, or even in the spring is probably when I'll melt my loaf of this um, to kind of transition from, like, sweet, bright, fruity into, like, woodsy kind of in the middle there. I have a scoopable from scoopable tart wax this one is in raspberry sauce coffee so this one is raspberry sauce blended with absolute coffee and I did not like this I'm sorry um I really really love berry coffee scents so I thought that I was gonna like this my like favorite coffee scent is like blueberry muffin sugar cookie royale and um coffee bean from L3 I think that's what it's called I really really like that scent and so I melted this a couple times this was just too bitter for me like the raspberry sauce is like a very deep berry and then like the absolute coffee is just like that like it's just coffee with no like sugar cream any kind of scent to it and I think that the two of those mixed together was just way too bitter it came off slightly cough syrupy but I melted it twice um and I was like mm, both times I was like no I don't like this I've had this for like a year um but then the last two times I melted it I added sugar cookie royale from L3 to it and I did like it a lot better then so this blend on its own I would not purchase it again I might purchase it again like if she offered it with like scoopable tart waxes sugar cookie scent I don't know if I think it is sugar cookie royale or any kind of vanilla scent mixed in with the raspberry and coffee just those two on their own were like way too bitter for me if you like that kind of scent I don't really like coffee scents that aren't sweet but just the raspberry with it was weird okay um house bunny from l3 I don't know what this was but I really liked it I think this was like a lemony dessert type of scent it was definitely like citrusy it was good I melted it in the bathroom I'm sorry I don't have more to say about it um country bear hotcakes from the bathing garden this was good this one was like I don't like hot like I stay far away from maple scents from pancake scents from caramel scents so I was like mm, when I got this but it, I actually I really liked it this was like a blueberry bread type of scent more than it was a blueberry pancake type of scent I got a lot of like blue it almost felt like a blueberry muffin um like a really authentic blueberry muffin I didn't get a lot of maple out of it it threw really strong I melted it here in my kitchen I enjoyed it 
this one. This one I melted at the very, there are two here that I melted at the very beginning of September when it was still really hot here. This one's Gardenia Coconut Cream. This was the longest lasting um, clamshell that I have ever had in my life. This is so strong. The Gardenia in this is like intense and I like Gardenia, but this was intense. Let me tell you. Um, I can only melt like a half of a cube at a time. So realistically, I had like 12 mount, 12 melts out of this. And I could only put like a half a cube per like whole house. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm just sensitive to the scent or if other people have had this experience. This is just really, really strong. Like I put a tea light warmer in my kitchen table um, with like a half a cube of this and it would like be my whole entire house worth of scent. So it took me a long time to get through this but it is a really nice scent especially like it's definitely something very unique that I haven't had from any other vendor yeah if you get like a lot of like that really bright floral gardenia and then like a creamy vanilla coconut type of scent this is it's really good but just very very strong so if you like gardenia yes if you don't know um I have a couple of scoops here from L3 Waxy Wonders, I have Dress to Kill. I know it's probably everybody's, well, I don't know if everybody's seen that. It seems like there's so much left in the bottom of this. There's really not, but I'm also like not a fan of my hands being messy, so I don't want to like dig too much in these. I just kind of give it up towards the end here. Um, This one is Thai Type Sugared Strawberries and Peeps. This was really good. Um, This... I got a lot of the Tide, obviously. That's a super, like, distinctive scent. Um, I I didn't necessarily get Peeps, but I think the Peeps mix was with the strawberry. It gave it almost like a, like a boozy type of vibe. Like, it smelled like a strawberry daiquiri plus Tide laundry detergent. It's, that sounds not good, but it was really good. I would purchase this again. Yeah, it smelled like, I don't get the peeps. I just get like a little bit of like a boozy sweet strawberry mixed with Tide, um, but really good. This one is a love of mine from Zape. This one is Kruger's, Kruger's Orchard. <laughs> this is apple cider donuts, smack apple and vanilla bean. God, it's so good. This is just such a nice apple bakery scent. It's heavier on the mac apple than it is the apple cider donut. Like it smells like a creamy mac apple to me. I don't get a whole lot of bakery. I just get a like touch of it, which makes it great for me. If you're not a huge bakery person, this is nice. Or even if you like apple bakery, I think you would still like this. This is just such like a good like neutral type of scent. Again, it's not super strong. It's, it, it's very much like a nostalgic 90s type of like mac apple to me like it smells like a candle that my mom would have when i was young it's really good um this is another like good nice like company scent for the fall okay oh here's the other one that i melted um at the beginning of the month when it was still hot i'm so sad that this is gone this one's heat wave from salt mountain melts this one is strawberry da or strawberry raspberry guava and margarita i loved this her, this is so good. It's such an authentic margarita. Like it's like fresh lime juice, a little bit salty, very fruity. I don't get the strawberry raspberry guava. Like I just get like a margarita. It's not a boozy margarita. It's like a virgin margarita, but it's super authentic. I love this. If you're into a margarita scent, highly recommend. And it threw phenomenally well. Um, oh, this was a good one when I was sick. From Hayden Row, I have Elsa. This was one of her knot bars. Um, this one I've talked about before. One of my favorite scents ever. <laughs> I'm like throwing stuff around. I'm getting wild over here. Um, this one is Elsa. And this one is like mints. A variety of mints, I think. It's like menthol mint. Um, mixed with like vanilla and lemon. It's so good. It's like a minty fairy wonderland. Um... This is what I imagine Elsa would smell like. 
it's heavy on the mint. It says, I think it says lemon in the description, but it's not like lemony to me. It really is just like a cool, I feel like my house is cooler when I melt this in it. Um, it's like a, it's not menthol either. Like it's not like a clear your nose type of mint. It's just like a cool, clean, clear your air type of mint. I don't know how else to describe it. You definitely, if you like mint scents, you have to try this one. This one is just phenomenal. It's the best. If I'm like nauseous or if I like have a cold, um, or like, I'm just like, mm, I don't know what's come out. This is like my go-to scent because it's so like neutral. It always smells nice to me. It always makes the air just feel like cool and clean. Really, really nice. We're almost done here. I have this was a half pie. These half pies from Scoopable Tart Wax, Scoopable Tart Wax, take years to get through. I'm just kidding. I think this one I only had for around a year. Um, but they are so dense. Like, even though I don't know how many ounces of wax they are, but like they're about the same as a loaf. But they are so like dense. When you cut them, it feels like you need so much less and they just take a really long time. I have another one of these that I'm working on right now and just intense, let me tell you. It's nice. I mean, it is a good bang for your buck because you have to use less, but I think I had a couple of these and it's just taking me a really long time to get through them. So unless you really love a scent, don't order in a half pie from Scoopal to Tart Wax. But this one was sweet lavender, orange sherbet, and shaving with a shaving cream overpour. I really, really loved this. I've had her say, it's part of the Prince collection. I can't remember. When Doves Cry, is that what it's called? And that one is sweet lavender, tangerine, and shaving cream. So I thought that that would be similar. This is similar, but I can definitely tell that the orange sherbet in this is not her tangerine. Like her tangerine is fresher and brighter. The orange sherbet was not as fresh and bright, but they were similar enough. This is so good. I love shaving cream scents when it's cold out. Um, you get all those things equally. Like it's very fresh and bright and herbal and clean. It's almost like a spa like scent. The lavender, orange, and shaving cream all together. I really, really love this. I would order like this combination from any vendor again. If I could get it from Scoopable Tart Wax, I would order this again. Like I said, it took me a while to get through this, so I don't know that I need to like go right away and order it but like if I saw it again I might pick it up I probably I don't know if I'd pick it up on a half pie we already talked about half pies um rainbow melts I have haunting nights this was a good one for September it was leaves fireside and marshmallow rainbow melts leaves to me is not like a bath and body works dupe it smells very like fresh and bright it doesn't have that like earthy kind of dirty I don't know how else to describe it like it doesn't have that like outdoorsy scent like Bath and Body Works Leaves has it's much more like of a bright green apple to me I don't think it's an exact joke um <coughs> I don't know if I got this one in a mystery box or if I ordered it. I can't remember but anyway this with the fireside and the marshmallow, it was like a little bit toned down. It wasn't such a fresh, bright apple. Um, I couldn't smell the marshmallow, but I could smell a little bit of that fireside and it rounded it out to make it a little bit like more, I guess, earthy and woodsy. Um, but overall, this was really nice. It threw like an 11 out of 10. It was a super thrower. So I liked that. In the bathing garden, I have marzipan apple, wait, cinnamon apple marzipan cake. Um, this is good. If you are an apple cinnamon bakery girl, like, or man, or person, whatever, if you like apple cinnamon bakery, you should get this because it's real. I think I heard Lacey from Worth and Blue talk about liking this one before, and I think that's why I ordered it in a jumbo shell, or a jumbo shell, a jumbo cream shell. This is so good. Um, I get apple cinnamon, like, first, obviously nice apple cinnamon but then I also get the marzipan it's like a very sweet almondy bakery type of scent and creamy it's like an apple cinnamon cupcake with like a fluffy frosting on it 
this is so good. It's strong. It's super like sweet and creamy and apple cinnamon and a little bit almondy. Like that is a really phenomenal scent. This one is dark side. This one is dark side of the moon from your Marcelay. And I think this, this is a Palo Santo Bakery. I know that. I think this one is like cherry. Cherry. Cookie dough and Palo Santo maybe? I don't know. Um, it's definitely a Palo Santo like fruity bakery. Sorry, I should have looked this up before I did this. Um, this is really nice. It was really strong for about two hours and then it kind of teetered out. I cut it into fourths and I melted it twice in my bedroom. Um, so I liked the scent. I just wished it would last a little bit longer. Um, the last two here are from Butter Homes and Gardens. This one is Fraser Fur. We all know what Fraser Fur smells like, just like a Christmas tree scent. I melted this in my bathroom. It's like a nice, I like to have tree scents in my bathroom. They're like nice and clean without being like a cleaner type of scent, if that makes sense. Kind of like, it smells like pine salt. I guess it is a cleaner type of scent. And then from Better Homes and Gardens, I melted banana and pumpkin bread. This just smells like banana bread to me. I don't get any pumpkin in it. I still don't. When I melted that, I didn't either. It's a really nice, authentic banana bread. However, I melted this one day when I was actually making banana bread. I had bananas left over. I was like, yeah, I'm going to make banana bread. <clears throat> and I um, made it, melted this. Very nice. The vibe was great. But then the next morning when I woke up, um, I was like, ooh, what's that smell? And it was this. It, it smelled good for a day. But then after that, I would need to remember to definitely take it out because it got super buttery. Like it smelled like melted butter the next morning, which I get sometimes with Butter Homes and Gardens. Um, like bakery scents and even sometimes with like vendor wax bakery scents they just tend to get like buttery on me for whatever reason I smell um so that is it as far if you hung in this long thanks how you doing you okay um do you guys have any plans do you guys have any like Halloween plans tell me some Halloween um things you and your family do like traditions my family we go to the pumpkin patch every year that's down the road from our house um we try to go like to the mountains once a year we like to go camping you guys know we're like big campers um we obviously go trick-or-treating we do like pumpkin carving um my best friend her daughter's birthday is in october so we always have her birthday party so we only have like a limited amount of time i guess to do fall stuff but i feel like we need like to add more fall stuff to the agenda i'm really trying to like mom it up this year <laughs> and get everything in the weekend while we can i'm not gonna stop it over. okay uh body care i have radiant sky hand soap <laughs> bath and body works um this one was rays of sunshine uh golden mango and juicy lychee did i say that right this is nice it just smells like mango to me like a fresh juicy mango um, I don't always like mango scents, but I did like that one. It was just very sweet, a little bit sweeter than I would have liked. It was in my kids' bathroom. They liked it, but I did use it as well. Um, I have this body wash, You're the One from Bath and Body Works. This one is white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. My daughter used this one. I did not like it. Both my girls did, but I did. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's like a very heavy floral birch. Like, I smell a ton of rose and a ton of birch. I'm not like a huge birch fan always. And then like, I don't smell any strawberry, but it just says a drop of strawberry. So it's just strawberry nectar even. Um, this, I got this on vacation and it took me forever to use that. This is a body wash from Native, which I love Native stuff, but this one is in Sour Berry Belts. I really like this scent. Like I said, I got it on vacation. I think it was in like June because I forgot to bring any like body wash for us. And this is really good. If you've ever had these candies before, <laughs> these like sour candy belt things, it smells exactly like the blue raspberry ones. It was nice um, for summer. And then I have from Zabe a sample of like a whipped soap in pumpkin roll. I did not use this because I don't like pumpkin. I gave it to my daughter. She used it. She really enjoyed it. It was a nice scent though. Like I didn't want to like risk it by using it when I knew she loves pumpkin stuff. She's really into just generally like 
seasonal type of things, I guess. Like she gets really amped about like holidays, like which I know all kids do, but like, I don't know, like she's just like, even just like dress up days at school, like spirit days at school. Like she's really into that type of stuff as to where like my other kids, they don't like care as much, I guess. Um, but she really liked that one. She, I think she used it like three times. She used it to shave, I think, so. And that's all I have, I think. Let me make sure here. Oh no, I have one more thing. I had to take a hike from L3. I couldn't spell this. I couldn't tell you what it smells like. I put it in my bathroom. But I couldn't spell it at all. Um, so anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys ha are having a good end of your September. I hope that you have all the fall activities planned and that you have a great October as well. Um, I miss I miss being on YouTube. I miss recording videos and I miss watching videos. I haven't been able to watch videos in a really long time. Like I said, I've been busy. It's like sick. It's like just so much going on, which I'm sure everybody else has everything going on as well. But I do, um, I do miss watching everybody's videos. So I do need to maybe get caught up. I used to watch them back and forth on my way to work. Like I used to watch Wax videos all the time. And now I've been really into like true, true crime videos lately. So I've been watching those instead, but that kind of like weighs heavily on you after a while. Like I really like true crime stuff, but I do find like after a while of like watching from true crime stuff that it like, not that it like makes me depressed, but it's definitely like not something that you should be putting into your mind like 24 hours a day. I'm like a big, like, I'm big in the thought process that like what you consume does affect you. So I need to like not do that so much and start maybe looking maybe looking at more positive inspirational things or maybe just watching wax videos okay that's all i have i'm gonna shut up now um i hope you guys are doing well and i will see you soon thanks bye